Hi guys, bonjour, bonsoir, welcome back for another video. In this video, I will be retwisting the starter coils for the first time. This is what her hair looked like before we started the coils and her hair is just beautiful all the way around. And as you can see, her coils turn out beautiful and coils can be done on long hair. I've gotten that question so many times too. You can start locks on long hair. You don't have to cut your hair as you can see. Her coils were very beautiful. This is the day we started the coils. And this video will be a month later where I do her first retwist. And I'll talk a little bit about what goes into locking longer hair or coiling longer hair. Usually when I post a client, you guys will request a video. But realistically, I cannot do a video for every client because not only is that a lot of memory on my, on my uh, memory card, but there's a lot of time. Every client doesn't have that time to allow me to record. And sometimes I don't have that time because I have back-to-back -back clients or I have school. I have other things going on. But when I can record, I do record for you guys. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned. So this is one month after those starter coils you just saw. Her hair is beautiful. It's still intact. She was still able to pin it up and go to work and still look cute. She took very good care of her hair from what she told me. She sat and pillowed, bonnet, the whole nine, and her, her coils show it. They look amazing. And this is after the wash. This is the point of confusion for a lot of people who don't understand how the lock process works. So I always... um sometimes advise people to research locks research how they work research how they even lock how does what is going on with your hair to make it lock and you will understand why your hair looks like this after you wash after your 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 first third fourth whatever wash it will look like that because that is that is part of the locking process you don't start coils today and have something that looks like locks the next month that's not how it works some people it takes them close to a year maybe even more for their locks to start looking like they are locked or their starter coils to start looking like locks i know i was one of those people all right so starting with the retwist and really i i decided to record after i even started after i started her hair and i was like oh my goodness let me record this we have time today i got time today because she wanted a freehand part so this is not a grid or anything this is straight up freehand and she wanted um really full she wanted a lot of locks she didn't want them to be tiny skinny though and her hair works perfectly with that because she has a lot of hair as you can see a lot of thick beautiful hair so she was a perfect candidate for somebody who wants a lot of locks but you guys have seen me retwist countless times so if you'd like to see more detailed retwists definitely check out my other videos but i'll just touch on her retwist a little bit um for example this this um part here it looks like it's completely out but it's not you can still see the little coil at the end so what i'm gonna do is clean up the part then i'm gonna gather the hair and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the frizz that's around that soon to be lock and just wrap it around to so reinforce the shape that I want them to take. And I'm going to pin it with the rest of them. And of course, her next wash, it won't be a lock. It won't be fully locked, but it will be one step closer to being locked. I have a client that is similar to her. Um, I don't really have time to record her either because she she drives in from very far and time is precious but hers is very similar to this client here and this is the method i've used on her from day one wrapping that hair around trying to reinforce what the lock should be doing and her hair is doing amazing and i think she's three months in now so as you can see it's the same thing for every lock i do this to every single lock i don't skip one <laughs> i wrap it around every single lock and i will show you guys i'll try to record her next one i may not do a full video but it's gonna be like a maybe a short update video just to show you the results of doing this the results of taking time for each lock the entire lock not just the root or that first little part but the entire from root to tip and i pin and pinning is really um Pinning is really important in the beginning also. I pin all the way down 
to further reinforce the shape and to reinforce what I just did with the locks. And one one important thing to remember about l- people who start locks with longer hair, the budding can happen in the budding can happen in more than one place at one time. So as you can see here, she has one area where she's budding. And a lot of her other locks had two areas where she was budding, and that's normal. And another thing for people who start locks with longer hair is, um, does it take longer to lock is the most, is the question that I get the most. It doesn't take longer to lock than a someone with short hair, because if you think about it, yes, it's a longer lock, but that whole structure is locking at the same time. So even if her hair was short, it would be locking at the same rate that her long hair is locking. So I don't think it takes longer to lock. It may take more effort in terms of retwist and washing and what have you. But in terms of the locking process, I don't think, to me in my experience, it doesn't take longer. Also, if you do start locks with longer hair, be prepared for shrinkage because it is real. It won't be super short, but it will shrink up from the length that you were used to before you locked your hair. And she's one of my clients who's really, really into the process. Like she's, she understands the process and she asks a lot of questions during her appointment, which I don't mind answering because that helps her understand. And when she goes home and I'm, I'm done, I've done her hair. She goes home. She spends a whole month with her hair she can then refer back to the questions that she asked me and if her hair gets frizzy she's not like oh my god my hair is frizzy what's going on she already knows that this is part of the process don't mind my babies in the background if i'm if i'm doing hair for longer than an hour they come and find me they need to know where i am and for the locks at the top when it comes to the top of the hair um sometimes i palm roll depending on what's going on her hair is finer it's looser it's a looser curl pattern at the top so not only do I wrap around, I palm roll also. And it's important to notice that I'm not retwisting tight. Um, for all you people who like to look for that, I'm not retwisting tight at all. It's not necessary to retwist tight for a retwist. What's necessary is gathering all the hairs. I usually do the front of the hair last because I feel like that's what gives it its polished look. So I do that last. And this is a finished product. This is her hair retwisted, dried. I didn't use any gel. All I did was I washed her hair. I oiled her scalp. And I retwisted. And I dried. That is it. Nothing crazy. Nothing out of the ordinary. And she's one of those people that really wants to avoid buildup. So she requested no products so once i've somebody came in my other video and said somebody went under my other video and said hey you do use products you're a liar ma'am um i do hair so i can't tell a client hey you're not gonna use product if they want gel they're gonna i'm gonna buy the gel and i'm gonna use it if they don't want gel i'm not gonna use it point blank period that's how you service people but anyway Here's her slow-mo for her coils. They're so, so pretty. And hopefully next time she comes, I can get um, footage to show you guys a little um, her progress because her hair is progressing very, very well. And she takes really good care of it at home also. That's a big key component to your hair progressing. You taking care of it at home. Your stylist or your loctician only touches it one time in a period of one time in a period of time so it's very very important that you understand what to do at home you understand what to look for and yeah locks are supposed to be low maintenance and they are you just have to look at them that way but anyway thank you guys so much for watching follow me on social media dxlynlocks facebook dxlynvlocks and i'll see you guys next time bye